In this video, we'll show you how to create and edit relationships between contacts and accounts, so you can easily track the relationships between the people and businesses they work with, without creating duplicate records. People often work with more than one company. A business owner might own more than one company, or a consultant might work on behalf of multiple organizations. That's why it's important to relate a contact to more than one account. Creating and modifying the relationship between accounts and contacts is quick and easy, but first, a bit of helpful terminology. The account listed on a contact record is the primary account. The relationship between a contact and its primary account is a direct relationship. Additional accounts can be related to the contact. These secondary relationships are indirect relationships. Got it? Good. Let's create some relationships. John Smith is a vice president at Acme Corporation, and Acme is the account on his contact record. But John is also involved with the nonprofit Green Dot Media. By adding Green Dot Media as a related account on John's contact record, you can easily track this other relationship. The related accounts related list includes the one directly related account, which is the primary account. The account is automatically marked as direct. The list also includes all the accounts John is indirectly related to. Here, the checkbox is not selected. On the Green Dot Media account record, you'll see that John is listed as an indirect contact. You can create and edit account contact relationships from account records too. Click to view the relationship, then click to edit the relationship. Let's say John no longer works with Green Dot, but we still want a record of the relationship. Simply add an end date and mark the relationship as inactive. It's that simple. To learn more, check out these resources and join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.